Hello. Today I'll be walking you through a PNP we recently added on the message recipients change events in Outlook. This PNP is meant to showcase the event-based activation feature, particularly the on-message recipients change event that's now in preview. The feature itself, event-based activation, is available in requirements at 1.10, but this particular event is in preview. The PNP also uses session data property bag APIs, still in preview, and the append on send async APIs as well, released in 1.9. The event activates whenever recipients are changed during message from pools, including replies and forwards. It's only available in Outlook on web browser and Windows for now. What the sample does is we tag external recipients in the sense that if you add recipients that are external to your organization, we will add the term external in square brackets to the subject and on send, there will be a disclaimer saying, hey, this email has external recipients. So I'm going to share my screen so you can see Outlook. Okay, so let's install the manifest. So I'm installing the manifest directly from the PNP repo. Here from the URL. You can also download the manifest and install it from the file. Okay. So now let's do a new email. Okay. So we have our external tag. And let's add some text. Let's remove this. See that the external tag went away. There's also a log that you can look at. Let's just bring that over here. So we have a whole bunch of debugging, debugging logs that are included. So you can tell what's going on throughout. Right. This was when we removed it. Um, we added back. It's an external user. ABC admin also. It set the disclaimer. Set the subject. You can also do this in Outlook on the web. So I have this up. Okay, let me send this first in Windows. And then we see that we have our tag in the subject and we have our disclaimer that was appended. Okay, so now let's try this on the browser. Okay. So I'll do a new message. Will come up momentarily. Okay. Let's do All right. So we have I'm showing us the right, as an external user. Let's do something similar. And it will do the exact same thing as the other one. So let's send that. Let's check this out. Okay, so this was the one we sent previously, and this is the one we just sent here. All right, awesome. So for the PNP repo, this is where the sample lives um, in Outlook tag external. And we have 
the readme here includes a lot of the stuff we talked about, some more details. So instead of walking through that, I'll go to the code. I have open in Visual Studio Code. So the manifest, um, in the manifest, in order to use the event-based activation feature on this particular event on message recipients changed, you need to define here the launch event, the runtime. So the key pieces here for this feature are in version overrides, which is earlier. There it is. Okay. So version overrides 1.1, you need to define runtimes. So in runtimes, runtime, this one is used by Outlook on the web. And this one, the override is used by Windows directly. So those two values, web view runtime URL and JS runtime URL, are defined lower down in the resources section. So in desktop form factor, you need to declare um, your extension point as launch event and have this event, which is the one we're working with on message recipients changed. And this is the function name that will be associated with this event in your JavaScript file. So, as you see here, we have our web view runtime URL and our JS runtime URL, um, which are the HTML file and the JS file, respectively. Because we're using append on send, you also need to declare the append on send extend, <laughs> extended permission, excuse me. All right, so the HTML. In the HTML, we pretty much need to use the beta version of Office JS, and of course, declare commands here. Here is the association you need to make. This should be the name of the file, the name of the function you have in the manifest file, um, which is that you're associating with. And this is the name of the fu function, the actual name of the function in here. So to some extent, you could actually mean that something completely different, and that's what we find too. Okay, so I'll walk you through this now. This is the handler with the same name, tag external on message recipients change handler. Fun name. And basically the event that comes back, it contains these, at least these three fields. So there's a property called change recipients field, and there's a one for the two, the C, the BCC. And what we do is for like say the two field, we actually then call get async on the two field if the two field changed um, and use that information to determine if there are any external recipients. And based on that, so for the purpose of this PNP, we're only checking for if external user is the type of recipient, any of them. Then we set the session data to if it's external or not, we set it to true or false for the two fields. So in this case, we're saying the external two is true if there is like an our case with K or ABC at Contoso that we did have external users. And so it will get tagged as true. But if we didn't like when it was empty, then it would say it was false. So we do a similar um, function for CC and the BCC field. In the set session data, as we discussed, you set whatever the key is. So tag external to BCC, CC, and depending on, on that, we actually just go ahead. So if it's true, you say, okay, we know it's true. Let's go ahead and tag it as external. So that will go ahead and do things like, you know, updating the subject and setting a pendants and they sync with the disclaimer. If, however, it was false, so that particular field that changed didn't say anything about, didn't have any external um, recipients, then we call check for external 
to see if anything else in the property bag already says that I have external things. So for example, if we added in the two field that we have ABC at Contoso, but in the CC field, we actually added someone within the organization, then in adding that one, it will say, oh, I have no externals. So now we go check the property bag and we'll see that the two field did have externals, but the recipients didn't change on two. And so that way we will keep the external tag and not remove it unnecessarily. Right? So then we go into tag external, which does the tagging of the subject, if need be. Set append on send a sync with the disclaimer that we de declared. And then that will happen here. But if there were no external recipients, they were all internal or there are no recipients in the email, we instead remove external tag from the subject if it's there. And we clear the disclaimer by calling append on send async with null value. And that's basically the PMP. So if you have, give it a try, please do give it a try. And if you have any comments or questions or any kind of feedback about it, let us know. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.